Step on up, it's time to read a story now. Super awesome fun, you'll see. Come on in, the story's round the corner now. Super awesome story time with me. Hello everyone, it's Crystal here from Super Awesome Story Time. I am so super duper excited to read another story with you all today. I wonder what today's story might be about. Oh. <laughs> but before we find out, I thought that we could switch our listening ears on. Are you ready? Here we go. Whoop. And maybe warm up our bodies and our voices too. What do you think? <gasps> Amazing. Hmm. Well, why don't we sing a very fun song called Row Your Boat. <laughs> if you know the words, sing along. Otherwise, you can join in with the actions. So, let's get those oars ready to paddle our boats. Whoop, whoop. Do you have your oars ready? <gasps> Amazing. Okay. Let's get rowing. Here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Hey! <laughs> Whoops, I threw those oars away very quickly. <laughs> well done, everyone. Very, very good at rowing. That was amazing. Well, my arms and my body and my voice is feeling nice and warm. How about you? Oh, fantastic. Okay, now before we find out what today's story might be about, should we maybe have a guess about what it might be about? Oh, okay, fantastic. You go first. What do you think today's story might be about? Ooh, oh, that would be very interesting. Hmm, I wonder. <laughs> oh, what do I think it might be about? Hmm, I think it might be about the Easter Bunny going on an adventure and he got lost on the North Pole where it was very cold. <laughs> maybe it's about that. Or maybe it is about a T-Rex who wanted to be the fastest boom, 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 motorbike rider boom, 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 in the world. Rah, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> maybe that's what it's about. <laughs> Are you ready to find out? Okay, let's have a look what's behind the story pillow. <laughs> Ooh, whoop! <gasps> Cobba! Oh, wow! Well, this looks like an interesting story. Ooh, that's a very beautiful bird there. I wonder if that might be Cobba. <gasps> Can you spot a spider? It looks like it might be in some kind of forest. Hmm, <laughs> are you ready to take a look? Okay. Here we go! <laughs> Cobber, written and illustrated by Pam Slattery. In the hot and steamy rainforest of northern Australia, there lived a cassowary named Cobber. Cobber's father had told him that cassowaries had a special purpose for being in the rainforest. The only problem was that he forgot to tell him what it was. <gasps> hmm. I wonder what makes a cassowary special. What is it that he does, his special purpose? <laughs> we did guess right. This is Cobber. Let's find out what his special purpose is. <laughs> All I do is eat and poo, Cobber thought as he swallowed a large blue fruit. I must find my real purpose for being in the rainforest. <laughs> well, eating and pooing. Well, we all do that. I wonder what his real purpose is. Hmm. G'day, Cobber, called the white-tailed rat. Hello, rat. Can you tell me my purpose for being here? shouted Cobber. I don't know what your purpose is, Cobber, but mine is to use my strong teeth to eat seeds and berries that are too tough or too high for other creatures, the rat said as he dropped some nuts to the ground. Cobber thanked the rat, swallowed the nuts, left a poo and continued on his way. Hmm, well that's a very sweet little rat. Look at Cobber making friends in the rainforest. Oh, and look at all those delicious berries. Hmm. But still... He couldn't find his purpose. <laughs> G'day, Cobber! Came a hundred tiny voices from down below. Green ants, would you know my purpose for being in the rainforest? Asked Cobber. Look at all those green ants! 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven billion! Oh, lots and lots of ants. Do you think they might be able to help Cobb up? Let's find out. The ants huddled together to consider Cobb's question. We only know what our purpose is, and that is to collect insects to feed to our babies, the ants replied as they continued scurrying up the vine. There they are, lots of them. Scurry, 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 scurry. <laughs> G'day, Cobber. Would you mind where you do your poo? shouted an irritated trapdoor spider. Oh, sorry, but I'm trying to find my purpose for being in the rainforest, said Cobber. Well, maybe you're closer to the answer than you realise, the cranky spider replied as she pulled her trapdoor shut. The news of Cobber's problem spread quickly through the rainforest. Oh, Cobber still can't seem to find what his purpose is. Hmm. G'day, Cobber. I know what you're going to ask me, came a squeaky voice from inside a rotting log. Two long feelers emerged from the log and were closely followed by their owner. I wonder who it might be. But all I know is that a beetle's purpose is to eat fallen branches and logs to help keep the rainforest floor clean. I don't know what your purpose is, Cobber, said the longicorn beetle. Well, Cobber replied, that is definitely not my purpose. All I seem to do is eat and poo. Hmm. Well, the longicorn beetle couldn't help Cobber. I wonder if anyone else can. <laughs> then just as Cobber paused to pick up another berry, he felt something land on his head. <gasps> Good day, Cobber. Can I help? said the white-lipped tree frog. Would you happen to know why I'm here, frog? asked Cobber, recognising the croaky voice coming from above. No, I don't. But I know that my purpose in the rainforest is to leap from tree to tree and to sing each night in the frog choir beside the creek, the frog replied. Oh, that all seems very important, but I can't do any of that, said Cobber. All I seem to do is eat and poo. Hmm, well, it doesn't look like the tree frog could help. Hmm, do you think somebody might be able to? Okay, let's wait and see. So Cobber headed further up the mountainside, where colourful fruit lay all over the forest floor. Cobber never had trouble finding food in the rainforest. Wow, look at that beautiful rainforest. And there goes Cobber all the way up the mountainside. <laughs> Good day, Cobber. I hear you have a problem, warbled an orange foot scrub fowl. Yes, I want to know what I am here for because all I seem to do is eat and poo, Cobber blurted out. My purpose is to scratch around the rainforest floor with my mate, said the scrub fowl. We have built a mound and when the eggs hatch, our chicks will fend for themselves. I have no idea what your purpose is, Cobber. Oh, Cobber knew that one day when he found a mate, he alone would care for the eggs and their chicks. But he was sure that was not his special purpose. Hmm. G'day, Cobber, said the Boo Book Owl in a voice that was deep and slow. Have you found your purpose yet? No, I haven't, and I don't think I even have a purpose. I am big and ugly, I can't fly or climb trees, or eat wood, or hide underground, or sing, and I have no babies to feed. All I do is eat and poo, Cobber moaned. Well, said the owl, there was a long silence. Hmm, I wonder what the owl has to say. That is your purpose, Cobber, said the owl in her wisest voice. You have the most important job in the whole rainforest. The seeds you spread each time you poo will grow into new trees. 
You help regenerate the rainforest, and your purpose here is very important. Cobble was flabbergasted. He knew he was special, but he had no idea that his purpose was that important. Oh, wow! Cobble's purpose is to grow all of the trees in the rainforest. Well, that is pretty special if you ask me. <laughs> Darkness descended like a blanket, and the rainforest stirred to the sound of insects, night creatures, and the frog choir beside the creek. Rub up, rub up. New little trees were beginning to sprout all over the rainforest, and it was mainly because of Cobber's poo. <laughs> Cobber felt happy and contented. He had discovered his true purpose for being in the rainforest. And it had been right behind him all the time. <laughs> Look at that beautiful moon and all of the bats flying high in the sky as the moon shines all over the beautiful rainforest. <laughs> the end! <gasps> and look at all of these cool facts about the southern cassowary. Should we read a few? <laughs> The southern cassowary is a large flightless bird that lives in the wet tropics region of Queensland in northeastern Australia. Wow! Cassowaries eat mainly fruit and they play an important role in the rainforest regeneration. The seeds they spread in their droppings fertilize and eventually grow into new rainforest trees. <gasps> That's right! That is Cobber's special purpose. <laughs> and look at this cassowary here and it tells you what all of these parts are. That is the cassowary's helmet, its ear and there are its three toes. Three toes on each foot. <laughs> Pretty spectacular. And here it shows all the animals we met in the book. Wow! How amazing! <laughs> well that was a wonderful book. I learned so much about the rainforest in Queensland, Australia. Did you learn a lot too? Oh, amazing! And how wonderful was it that Cobber found his very special purpose with the help of all of his friends. <laughs> Isn't that funny? All he thought he was doing was eating and pooing, eating and pooing. But who knew that his droppings, his poo, is what made all of those beautiful rainforest trees grow. Oh, well that was a pretty spectacular story. <laughs> And speaking of all things spectacular in that rainforest and all of those wonderful creatures that Cobber met along the way, I think I know a song just about that. Let me find my ukulele. Whoop. I found my ukulele! I am so excited to sing another song with you all. Now this song that we're going to sing is all about all the incredible creatures that you can find in the Australian rainforest in Queensland just like in the book cover. <laughs> but before we sing, I thought that we could warm up our beautiful singing voices. What do you think? Amazing! Well, why don't we warm up our voices to the word cobba? <laughs> okay, are you ready? Here we go! Cobba, 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 cobba. Is your voice feeling nice and warm? Oh, wonderful. So is mine. <laughs> now, let's sing our song that is celebrating all of those wonderful creatures. <laughs> it is called Rainforest Adventure. Are you ready? Here we go. Are you ready to go on an adventure? Are you ready to have some fun? Let's take a walk through the rainforest down under. Our adventure has just begun. If you look closely, there's no telling what you Treat 
tops way up high Can you flap your wings just like the boobop owls do? Flying up in the night sky, watching over you Are you ready to go on an adventure? Are you ready to have some fun? Let's take a walk through the rainforest down under Our adventure has just begun If you look closely, there's no telling what you might find So come on an adventure to explore all the beautiful creatures of nature. Let's go for a walk. I wonder what we'll find. I hear a white lip tree frog singing and jumping with all her might. Can you jump up and down like the green tree frogs? They jump around from here to there then sit on a log. Are you ready to go on an adventure? Are you ready to have some fun? Let's take a walk through the rainforest down under. Our adventure has just begun If you look closely there's no telling what you might find So come on an adventure to explore All the beautiful creatures of nature Let's go for a walk I wonder what we'll find I can see a large cassowary It's truly one of a kind Can you pick and eat the forest berries like the cassowaries do? They love to eat lots of fruit they eat Are you ready to have some fun? Let's take a walk through the rainforest down under Our adventure has just begun If you look closely there's no telling what you might find So come on an adventure to explore All the beautiful creatures of nature Come on an adventure to explore All the beautiful creatures of nature Yay! <laughs> Give yourselves a big round of applause Amazing. Oh, I loved all of your animal moves, the froggy jumps and the owl flying up high. They were amazing. Thank you so much for singing and moving and grooving along. That was awesome. And thank you so much for reading this incredible book, Cobba, with me. This was also spectacular. And speaking of all things spectacular, check out this incredible artwork that I received this week. Ooh. This awesome artwork is by Zane and she has drawn a piece of abstract art. She has got squares within squares and some rectangles and some very fun colours. I can see red, blue, yellow, black and white. Oh, it is spectacular. Very, very cool Zane. I like all of those cool patterns that you have created there. It is awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. And check out this next awesome artwork. Ooh. This awesome artwork is by Joaquin and he has drawn on his brand new giant drawing pad that he got for his birthday. So happy birthday to you Joaquin! <laughs> I absolutely love this drawing that you've done of two faces mirroring each other perhaps with some nice blue eyeshadow it looks like. Hmm, very, very cool. I like it very much. Thank you so much for sharing this spectacular drawing. <laughs> and check out this next incredible artwork. Ooh, this awesome painting is by Fatime, and she has drawn some beautiful birds flying in the sky. Or maybe they are in an autumn tree. Look at all of those beautiful colours. They do look like autumn tree leaves and those three birds flying very happily amongst them. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much, Fatima. It is fantastic. And check out this next awesome artwork. Ooh. This awesome artwork here is by Yasmin and she has painted an owl up high on the treetop and a chicken sitting on some lovely eggs. Oh, there are lots of eggs there, lots and lots and lots that it is sitting on to keep them warm for the chickens to hatch. <laughs> I absolutely love the colours that you've used and the big eyes for the owl, just like in the book that we read. It is spectacular. Thank you so much, Yasmin. And thank you so much, Fatime. And thank you, Joaquin. And thank you, Zane, for sharing your incredible works of art on Super Awesome Storytime. I absolutely love them and love sharing them with you. You all. If you would like to share your incredible artwork on Super Awesome Storytime 2, I would love to see it and share it. So all you need to do is take a picture of whatever it is that you're creating. It could be oh, a drawing of a cactus. It could be a painting of your favourite dog. It could be a sculpture of your favourite book character. 
character, anything at all, I would love to see it. So just take a picture and send it on through to me at Super Awesome Storytime. And if you're wondering where you can watch Super Awesome Storytime, you can watch it on YouTube, Facebook and Instagram. So please like, follow and subscribe to keep up to date with the latest Super Awesome Stories. Thank you so much for tuning in today and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now! Step on up, it's time to read a story.